What's up guys, it's me Vara and today I downloaded 50 plus mods to show you guys what are the best mods in Bone Lab that you can actually download right now. By the way, all of the mods I have in the, my video and uh, all of the mods I use in my videos like the Spider-Man mod, the multiplayer, uh, infinite ammo, any mod you can think of is in my discord the link is in the description and uh, basically there is a section with mods and PC VR mods so uh, the links to the mods are there uh, because I cannot put all of the mods in my description because it will be like uh, 20 million pages long because I don't know uh, man. Uh, but whatever whatever let's actually start off the video today we actually have some quite interesting mods that I downloaded I actually counted I have 150 mods I think or 140 and I downloaded a bit more basically I have like 150 mods downloaded right now in my game and that's why I'm playing on PC man uh, most of the mods are on quest though like pretty much 95% of them so uh, yeah um, don't bother quest users uh, but yeah, okay, so first of all, we have the, uh, what is it called, what is it called, it's the Doom Sword, so actually let me put on some beans here, not beans, but like beans, beans, I'm sorry for my English guys, <laughs> I'm an immigrant from Ukraine, so if you hear my accent being pretty bad, or my pronunciation, yeah, I'm really sorry for that, you know. Uh, I, I tried to work hard on my English and I'm still working hard, you know, I'm currently uh, doing like a dual enrollment class in college and bro, I, got, I have like three page assignment due today. I made like two pages and I feel like they're so bad, but like, okay, gotta do what I gotta do. Okay, so the Doom Sword is on C, I believe. C, C, I have 25 pages of mods. <laughs> yeah. Crucible, Crucible. So yeah. Okay, as you can see, you can see, Crucible. This is a Doom Sword. If we open it up like a lightsaber, it opens up, bro. And it looks so good, in my opinion, bro. Looks. Uh, I was actually waiting for this mod. And actually, I tested this mod. I tested a bunch of mods before the video because I thought maybe some of them wouldn't work because that happened a lot to me. Uh, and uh, every, pretty much every single one worked, uh, but this mod in particular I found really good because you can slice three people Pretty good <laughs> or not pretty good, but like Actually slice it through people okay, actually Yo chill out man Yeah, as you can see it slices through people so I mean that's uh, That's kind of fun, but like kind of creepy too, but like you know I wish we could like get the, the disassemble mod. Oh my god, the hit marker mod comes into a clutch, shows us when the fords are dead. Can we spawn more? No, not crucial, but like the NPCs. Uh, but in my opinion, this ward looks great, man. Looks so good. Uh, maybe like maybe let's do a thumbnail. Why not? Okay, nah, no, it doesn't look great. Okay, I don't know. Whatever. We'll see what I can do for a thumbnail. Uh, but whatever. So le let's leave it here. Damn, this actually looks nice. Whatever. So we got more mods. We got more mods to review. By the way, the lightsaber mod got a huge update. The lightsaber collection mod. So if we go to the lightsaber collection mod, I'm pretty sure he added a few lightsabers, but now he fixed the issue I was talking about in the video. So pretty much if we get, for example, a Shoka's white lightsaber, this is my favorite one because I don't know, I just like it. Uh, basically, uh, we can actually go. Th this isn't white, this is green, uh, but we can go through beings without clipping, basically. So it just uh, goes into them. So it's like the Vader's lightsaber, as you can see, it's stuck in him. That's pretty good. Uh, that uh, wasn't a thing previously. And and what I noticed, I didn't notice, but he added a, a lightsaber C Castus collection. So it's basically like different lightsabers, which aren't really in the movies. And I found them really, 
and I found them really interesting because there are some quite interesting ones. For example, uh, if I scroll down here to the lightsabers, we have the orange double-sided, we have the green double-sided, we have pretty much every color double-sided, and we have the white or sil silver broken one, we have the double-sided, red broken, and pretty much every single one has a double-sided variant. So as you can see, the double-sided variant is like this. So we open it up like this. And they have like pretty much individual sounds, kind of. Oh my god. Yo, ch chill out, man. Yo, we can close them too. So it doesn't go into the performance that much. But yeah. I like the lightsabers. They're pretty cool. And uh, the person did, did a great job on the mod itself. Yeah, the yellow lightsaber, bro, looks so sick in my opinion. Can I put it in him? Yeah, looks pretty neat. Uh, I'm not sure. Who, I'm pretty sure Emil was the mod creator. Big shout out to him. Uh, but yeah. Okay, let's go to the next mod. Actually, I don't think this video will fit into one part, but we'll see. Because I have like literally like 100 mods that are just guns. Like different type of types of guns. And every single mod I am showcasing, I pretty much selected the best mods and put them in my Discord. So, uh, you know. Join my Discord, the link is in the description, and uh, you won't have to spend hours I spent to find the mods. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, that isn't a bad thing, I feel like. Uh, but yeah, we got a actual a car. It's a drift car. Uh, maybe I'll showcase it later. Uh, but what I found interesting, I found this gun interesting. It's pretty much a, it's called a 1911, I'm pretty sure. So let me spawn a Glock too. Uh, so this, this is from the Half-Life. So it's uh, Half-Life Alex 1911, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but it's really loud. Hopefully it's not as loud in the video, but it's really loud. And pretty much what I found interesting is that uh, it leaves uh, these, these thingies behind uh, the ammo. I forgot what it, they called. If you know, guys, let me know in the comments. I forgot. The ammo bullets thingies, I don't know, capsules. Uh, but yeah, I found it interesting because the regular 1911 pistol, if you just have it, yo, come here, uh, it uh, doesn't produce those. So yeah, as you can see. Oh, actually, it does. Oh, it's a different, different caliber, I think. Actually, didn't notice that, but whatever, whatever. We have actually a pretty interesting mod that I've seen. It's a uh, Bone Souls. And it's really underrated, in my opinion, because it's pretty much six holdables fully working with sounds. And uh, the mod has like, I think 100 downloads, but uh, it's a great mod. I'm pretty sure it's for Quest and PC VR. I've linked uh, to it in my, dis or not description, but Discord. Uh, but yeah. As you can see, I just want to showcase all of them real quick. They have a uh, force grab and everything. They're pretty nice. Let's uh, get like some forts maybe here. Yeah, as you can see, we got the cycle or whatever it's called. Uh, that is used to mod a lot. Yo, I mean, okay, this looks creepy. Yo, bro, yo, this looks so creepy. One past his neck. Okay, then we have the trident. Kind of reminds me of, uh, of Akuman. It's stuck in him. <laughs> okay. Uh, then, then we have a uh, knife. I'm not sure what they're called, man. I I never played Dark Souls, so don't judge me too hard. Yo. Yo. We have this the shield, bro. Can you attack me? I want to test out the shield. Uh, what if I do this? Will it kill him? Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Uh, this is pretty much it. Ah, damn. I wish it's, it was stuck in him. Yeah, we have this axe. It's pretty neat. 
And they all have like different sounds, so that's pretty nice. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> it's stuck through half of them. Okay. And uh, you know, guys, I feel like they the disassemblement mod that um, or there is no disassemblement in Bone Lab because simply it would be too heavy on the performance. So I feel like they didn't even bother to make it, or maybe they tried. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, I feel like it's better to stay as a mod because <laughs> similarly to Blade and Sorcery, if we had like this disassemblement as a thing, I feel like we would only be able to spawn like 10 NPCs max like in the game. Uh, but so uh, like right now we can spawn a bunch more. Yo. I was actually, I was better previously, bro. <laughs> hey, you stuck in his head. Chill out, bro. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that's nice. Not really nice, but okay. And by the way, this is like the old Glock from Half-Life. It's pretty neat too. Uh, it had the cross here previously here. But uh, the problem with it is that if you reload it, Pretty much shoots instantly. You don't need to reload it like that. Uh, but yeah, okay, okay. Uh, so, what do we have else here? Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I downloaded a ladder mod. It's pretty neat, honestly. Uh, it's like a ladder which you can climb. We can have like static wall ladder or no. Okay, whatever. But uh, I actually tested it. This ladder actually works. It's pretty neat. Yo, yo, yo. Chill out, chill out, chill out. No. Okay, okay. This isn't working out for us, man. Yeah, but... Um, oh, we cannot move this ladder. It's stuck here. Uh, but th this ladder actually works. You can climb it and stuff. It's pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, just found that mod. That one was interesting. Oh, actually, I wanted to showcase this. I showcased this in the last video, but this is like a really unique mod. Uh, probably most of the people <laughs> didn't get to the point where I've seen this because the last video was so laggy uh, because of the multiplayer and because of the NPCs being everywhere. But this is a bubble, bubble pretty much, uh, gun. So it doesn't do much. I don't think it deals damage or anything, but it's cool. Uh, then, then, oh my god, man. Oh, I have Drax guns. These are the best guns, in my opinion. Like, uh, like the mod creator is really good for it. And they're not the best. <laughs> I don't want to call like a gun the best because uh, most of the gun mods are really good, in my opinion. Like, people worked on them really hard, so I don't want to say that one is better than another. But these are really great, because I love the sounds in them. Uh, and they feel nice. You can see. Um, then this one, this is like the CS... Uh, CS uh, 1.6, I think. Kind of reminds me of it. Like the gun. This one is the short one. This, that one reminds me of the suppressor. This is like without a suppressor, but like that one didn't have a suppressor. But it just kind of kind of reminds me of CS 1.6 because I remember in Ukraine we didn't have enough. Uh, my PC wasn't good enough to run CS:GO, so I couldn't play it. So I was playing CS 1.6, which is like from the year 2000 something. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's why it's called CS1 point. Pretty much uh, there was CS1, I think, and then was CS1.2 or 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. .1 and pretty much the most popular one was 1 1.6 because I, I don't think they released past that. Or maybe they did, I, I'm not sure. Actually, 
the toast, the toast showed me this trick. You can like punch yourself in the air, like in a previous video. It's pretty cool. Didn't know about this. I think I seen this on the moon level. People used it to get to the top or something. It's pretty cool. Uh, and by the way, someone uh, in the comments, some people said that uh, you cannot actually die in Bone Hub, and I didn't know that. Uh, but uh, thank you for the info. Oh, we got the sniper mod. Actually, didn't showcase it. I I don't think so. I downloaded it like I don't remember when, man. Uh, but uh, I wanted to make a showcase about it, but I just didn't have really much time and uh, um, There are other videos that I planned on making So yeah, we'll see um, But uh, yeah, we ha I have a bunch of different mods and I feel like the best mod right now is the multiplayer mod Because it just enables you to do so much stuff um, I also really like the Spider-Man mod, so it's like pretty much a constrainer. So if we grab a constrainer right here, actually, I may just... Uh, it's a mod for a constrainer. It's not the constrainer itself, pretty much. So if we go and get another constrainer, because I like having two. We can, I showcased it in many videos, but I still find it satisfying to just swing around. Yeah, the person who made this mod didn't make us another one. And sadly, this is uh, for PC VR only right now, but uh, uh, I'm sure something like this will come out on Quest eventually. Yeah, but uh, if you need the link to any of the mods, for example, the multiplayer, and the Spider-Man, like this one, like this is more like a grappler, but I feel like calling it a Spider-Man mod is appropriate because you're kind of swinging, uh, grappling, just like kind of gets you to the point you, you want to get actually yeah this is pretty much a grappler but like spider-man pretty much has grapplers technically and uh yeah i guess uh, we'll end the video i just wanted to showcase one last mod that i found really interesting it's the dog mod and it's the uh, boston dynamic dog so pretty much if we go to mods Go to mods, then we go to BAMPS to the D, A, B, C, D. Um, oh, actually, I, I want to showcase another mod after this, but uh, the car mod. So we have the dog spot. So pretty much this is like a dog. Uh, like the Boston Dynamics dog. And it actually works, has like the joints and stuff. And there's actually a... Yeah, uh, I believe a hand or something mod. I don't remember what it's called, but uh, there is one and it's actually pretty neat. Um, I downloaded the Glock mods too. They're pretty neat. I don't know. I want to make a showcase of like every gun mod or something like that. Uh, because like I want to make like a hundred modded guns. Um... I don't know, 100, showcasing 100 modded guns video. Uh, let me know in the comments, guys. Would you enjoy that? Do you think that's interesting? Uh, that would be interesting. I don't know. I think that would be pretty good. Uh, I don't think I'll find the robotic arm. Oh, I, I have a crowbar from Half-Life 1 that has the sounds. I don't know what this is. Handgun? What is this? Bro, I have so many mods, <laughs> literally. Yeah, this has this is the mod, pretty much from Half-Life One, so it has the same sounds like the crowbar is from Half-Life One. It's pretty interesting. I don't know if does it deal damage. No, nah. oh, actually it does. <laughs> it's stuck there. Um, then we have this here. This reminds me of Ashes Gun from Rainbow Six Siege. I'm actually not sure how to reload this here. Yeah. Yeah. I want to. I want someone to make a Rainbow Siege pack. This this Glock is pretty neat. It has like different colors, like this one. 
I'm pretty sure the adder or whatever of uh, the gun is in the game has different colors, but this is like a Glock. I'm pretty sure it's not the, just the gun itself. Um, okay, what is next? Oh, this is... I'm pretty sure this is a Half-Life. No, this isn't a Half-Life gun. I'm not sure what this is. And I don't know how to reload this. This is actually pretty neat. I like it. I like the recoil in it. And everything was... Uh, actually, no. I don't like the reloading. It's kind of janky. Because you grab the gun itself, not reload. Uh, but uh, the mod itself is good. Oh, and finally, finally, I wanted to load into a map. Into a map. Because I downloaded a good map. Um, what is it? Final. No. Not Krusty. I downloaded Jedi, te Jedi Temple. I want to showcase that. But I want to showcase the Mount Akira map. And hopefully my game doesn't bug and doesn't load into another map. But that, uh, that actually stopped happening to me. So maybe... Um, Bone Lab devs fixed fixed the thingy with the update. And by the way, guys, I found out why the update like was four gigabytes. And uh, people ask me like, why was the update five or six gigabytes? And they didn't add much to the game. And simply because they're using Unity to make the game. And I found out that in Unity, uh, basically in Unity. Oh, actually, this is neat. In Unity, if you want to change the scene, you have to completely rewrite the scene. So this means that they had to um, pretty much just include the whole scene, like the whole level, to just rewrite one part of the level, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this is like a good map. Akira, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it weighed like 300 megabytes or something like that. Um, but it's totally worth it, I think. Daytime. Okay, I want. Uh, I feel like nighttime is better. And this is the Toyota map. I'm pretty sure it was made by the same developer. I actually didn't know about that. How do I. How do I unlock this, man? Oh, actually, nice. Yo. This is like the drift car. Oh my god, everything is kind of lagging for me. Yo. Bro. Bro. Okay, nice. Now let me close this. Can I grab it here? No, I can't. Can not grab the whole thing? Bro! Can I close? Whatever. Oh, I'm in the wrong seat. Oh, can I use this, the seating mod? Can I? No, I cannot change the speed. Headlights, toggle. I want to... Yeah, I want to disable the headlights. I want to toggle the mirrors because I'm pretty sure. Because they are kind of performance heavy. Oh my god, my quest battery is low. Okay, I cannot do much here. Okay, let's drive. Yo. Okay. Actually, the, the controls in here are really good. To my surprise, because the past cars were really slow. And uh, the like, the driving was really janky. This is actually really good. Oh my god! Actually, uh, I remember I showcased the Dodge mod, and the developer in the comments said, "Sorry for your bad experience." I said that uh, it's all good. Like the mod is under development. I like the doors that he implemented to a car, but like yeah, he did a good job. But like this is a whole, whole different level. Although, I'm not sure. I don't think it shows the speeds. Yeah, it doesn't show the speeds. Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> but I, I would actually recommend you guys downloading this mod. It's like Toyota something. Um, I have the link to it in my Discord. But uh, if you want to find it, it's like... You, look, you can find it on mod.io. Like simply, simply. It's like in the trending tab. So you'll see it probably right away. Oh my god, <laughs> I cannot see anything. I need to toggle the... Headlights. How do I toggle the headlights? Bro. Whatever. Let's just drive. Okay, I don't think there is anything there. Oh, actually it loaded. Oh, damn. I guess he made that uh, less performance heavy, but just like loading in the parts of the maps. Okay, I'm so bad at driving. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. I need to go to driving school, man. <laughs> I still haven't went, man. Thank you. Chill out, chill out. We got into a little car accident here. So I guess, guys, we're going to end the video on here, on this part. We got into a bit of a car accident. I like the lighting on here. It's great, in my opinion. Like, on the map. He did a great job on the lighting because uh, most lighting, like on the maps, is bad. Like on the usually, usually on maps. Uh, but yeah, the car is great. I'm just bad at driving. It's a Toyota AC01, I think, something like that. Uh, but yeah, you can find all of the mods in my Discord. Link is in the description. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. You want to see more um, basic mod showcase and stuff like that. And yeah, let me know in the comments guys, what is your favorite mod currently, like from the video or maybe not from the video. Personally, I really like the Doom uh, Slayer thingy, uh, the, um, what is it called, the, the sword, although it cannot close, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching the video, oh my god, I fell through the map, see you later guys, and bye bye. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to comment, by the way, because it really helps me out. Because when you comment, guys, if you didn't know, um, basically YouTube thinks that the video is more interesting, so I recommend it to more people. Oh, there's a city? Damn, didn't know that. Okay. Uh, yep. Bye-bye. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, we're on our way to 10k. Oh, damn. Actually, I can respawn? I didn't know that. That was an available thingy. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye.